Welcome, Ravens, to this edition of our OMW Now Friday show. I'm Will Vestal, alongside Sydney Weeks. Today we have a preview of this year's Bachelorette, a recap on Cheers' performance at Nationals, and a tribute to your Dono Ventura. Let's get started. After last year's successful season of the ONW's The Bachelorette, the popular ONW Now series is back. Ten of our own seniors will compete for Kit Walter's Heart starting on Wednesday, February 1st. Let's send it to Levy Bandy for a preview. RFC is producing another season of ONW Bachelorette. Look forward to watching ten senior boys fight to win over Kit Walter's Heart on ONW Now starting next week. On February the 19th, our very own ONW cheer team traveled to Dallas to compete in nationals. Alyssa Clinton has the highlights. While we were working hard in school, our cheerleaders were in Dallas competing in nationals for the first time. Olathe Northwest had a very successful first outing and placed ninth at nationals. Continue the hard work, ladies, and we hope to see you bring home the title next year. For ONW Now, this has been Alyssa Clinton. Now back to the desk. Good job, ladies. Keep up the great work. After the tragic death of your Donna Ventura took the entire area by storm, all of Kansas City fell into the morning to celebrate the, the life of a great player. Adam Cook has the story. Pitcher, your Donna Ventura. Sunday morning, Royals fans woke up to the dreadful news that star pitcher Yordano Ventura had passed away in a car crash in his native Dominican Republic at the age of 25. Yordano was an exciting player to watch as he brought a lot of fire to the game with his consistent upper 90s fastball as well as his emotions. While Ventura's emotions sometimes got the best of him, Ventura talking. I don't know. What's he talking about? Right about a tap. Albert ends up at second. Yeah, they'll have some words for Ventura right now. He was always a kind, heartfelt person. All right. So now, I did it for a, uh, for a little bit. You know, I had to uh, help this uh, young brother out, you know. But uh, he's getting better with his English. He's just, uh, you know, a little shy sometimes. But he'd be good. He'd be good here. Thank you for the glad family. Thank you, Dayton, for today you had to, you were, you know, like, we like it like that, you know. And today I tried my English, you know, by everybody here. And I tried to pay better. So, thank you, KC fan. And we love you, and we play hard every day for you. Thank you. He brought an energy to the game that few could match, and Royals fans have many fun memories of him to look back on. On Sunday night, the day of his death, there was a vigil held at Coffin Stadium for fans and teammates to pay their respects. Many Royals staff and players attended Ventura's funeral in the Dominican Republic. It's special for us to come out here, you know, it's, um, you see where Jordano grew up, you see his hometown, and you see all the support he has from his family and friends here, and, uh, you know, for us to, to get to be able to catch up and kind of spend the afternoon with them and just uh, hear from them how much we all meant to them, how much Giordano meant to them and, and this city is, uh, it gives us a, a great amount of appreciation for, for our brother we lost. Giordano Ventura will always be a fond memory in the hearts of Kansas Cityans forever and he will be missed dearly. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Adam Cook. In other news, it's senior night for the swimmers at Prairie Trail, and the basketball teams will play at Topeka West on Friday. Show out and support your fellow Ravens. For Sydney Weeks, this has been Will Vessel. Have a great weekend, everyone.